Parental discretion is advised. Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Mayhem Show 300. We've 300. done this. We've done this oh, at God. least 299 times before, and we still haven't mm. gotten it right. We're here in Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. Well, I am, but with me in other uh, parts of the world, such as San Antonio, Texas, is the Wrestle Fan. Mm, I was eating a pretzel. Hey guys, how's and it going? From the north side of Pittsburgh, DJ <laughs> Lunchbox. What's up, hot dog? It is the baddest motherfucker in the tri-state area. That's right, DJ Lunchbox. Jesus Christ, at least one or two of you humans out there have been with us for 300 episodes. Can you believe it? I can't. And also, guy that wasn't here at the beginning, but he still joins us, the Riz. I've got the touch. (laughs) (laughs) I've got the power. (laughs) <laughs> After all is said and done, I've never walked. I've never won. I'm a winner. <laughs> <laughs> and another winner is Hot Wheels joining us from that great promotion, RWA, down in West Newton, VA. Hey, How you doing? What's up, folks? Oh, my goodness. After Raw last night, I agree with the Road Dog. Indie wrestling is not PG. After this weekend, Bobby from RWA and from Sword probably would tell us from IWC. Oh, yeah. Indie wrestling is not PG. You know I've what? never heard so many curse words in my life, <laughs> but you can find that out later in the show. Yeah, hold on to that thought. I think that's that would be a really good discussion point there. I'm, of course, the Sorgatron, the master of uh, mayhem ceremonies here. Uh, and, uh, and and I'm surviving. I'm surviving. I have wrestling coming out of my ears. Uh, but thankfully, not very much of it is TNA. But also, uh, just joining me here, coming back. Are you ready? Are you ready for your intro? Did you start the show without me? I, I, I'm sorry. I, I guess I... As 49% owner, you can't do that. <laughs> Did the raccoon get the golden shower? Yeah. He <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he sure did. Hi, Chachi. Hi. It's all wet and sticky. So, hey, this Doom. is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, the show where we talk wrestling and we do it in a fashion of mayhem. Um, I, I And uh, you can uh, come across us if you just kind of stumbled on. I don't know where you've been for the last 299 episodes, but you're here now, and you can go check out WrestlingMayhemShow.com. <laughs> you can check out WrestlingMayhemShow.com and our new blogger, Sonic Screwjob, has joined us on there. So go check out his word stylings. You can also follow us at Mayhem Show on the Twitters. There's a view of it right there where we talk on Mayhem. You can Twitters. find out what's going on. Yeah. And you can also check us out on the Facebook. On the, on the Facebook. On the Facebook and on Google Plus where we do a hangout every Monday night during Monday Night on Raw. The Google Plus. So come out, don't be a douchebag, and uh, uh, watch Raw with us. Don't be a douche. douche and there's our show notes. Um, and of course... Hey, 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 you forgot one other thing, Sorg. What's that? You know, this <coughs> app. Oh, that, that's, that's on the list. I'm getting there. Yeah. I'm getting there. We got an app called Mayhem Gold. We're a little bit extra stuff, just uh, like such as uh, 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 DJ Lunchbox finding himself and his female parts. Uh, you can also email us at goodtimes <laughs> at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. <laughs> Moving on. Hey, 412206. Tell me at 09670. It's called a tease. It's called a tease. Oh, it's a tease. Uh, <laughs> you can also, <laughs> we got stickers that we want to send them to you at WMS Stickers Care of Sogatron Media, 1535 Belasco Avenue, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, PA 15216. Just a tip. I want to give a shout out one the basic sickness for the sweet ass intro that has been has been bringing us in for the last I don't know how many episodes, probably the last 50 episodes at least. Uh, and also uh, hey shout the out last to our 300 friends. 300 episodes. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. oh, hey. oh hey. What, what, what what high five. High five. Yeah. Three hundred episodes. Woo! High five. High five. 200, 200, high five. 275 too many. <laughs> <What the hell? laughs> I want to know what we did at episode twenty-five that's making you say that. I, I don't know. I just <laughs> randomly picked a number. 
<laughs> Thanks for revealing your secret. 138 episodes too many. Well, you know, Seth, from the beginning, it was always about the fans, uh, whether it be in the AOL chat room, whether it be on ICQ, whether it be uh, via Telegraph. You said ICQ. Yes, you I did. AOL. Did uh, use ICQ? I'm sure we used it at some point. Uh, uh, I used to use it back like in the day all the time. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, this 2006 hey, man, was a we very were, dark uh, we time. We were a live cast before we were a podcast. Exactly. Exactly, exactly. Internet means. radio was the big thing. You don't thing know what it means. Sending us <laughs> to the future. I don't know what it means. Uh, but I don't, I don't know in, in my remember box. still a glimmer on your daddy's nutsack. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any glimmer. emails this week. But no, we do have emails. No, I don't. You have. don't have emails, so you get to take a powder here <laughs> in this one. Uh, but we do have a little bit uh, from one from YC Dub. Do we have a designated YC Dubber? No? Uh, Alright, I'll do this one. Hola, Mayhemers. I have some shocking news. As I said, typing this on the toilet. Good yeah. thing. Good thing I take my laptop with me everywhere I go. Uh, I am looking down at the most amazing quotation mark shit I have ever taken. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he shows a quotation mark. Uh, now, I want to know what was between the quotation marks. <laughs> That's the secret. In fact, it kind of looked like an arena setup from the Survivor Series. As I've attached the picture, it looks like it lights and WWF logo and everything. It's amazing. I think you're going to stare wow. at this for two hours instead of watching Impact tonight. <laughs> it will definitely be more satisfying. Tonight. Cheers, YC Dub. I'm sorry, I forgot to bring this up in the email beforehand. <laughs> but yeah, and he included a picture of the Survivor Series uh, from from that year. Uh, now that's that's sure it is. Hold on, there it is, and there's the picture he sent. So, so yeah, it looks kind of like that in his toilet bowl. Now you know. Hey, shit takes talent. Who's got the wow. next email, guys? Oh, I'm all over it. Oh yes, he is. I have, I have two emails this week. Okay. And uh, I will read them in a way that you will not know it's me reading both emails. <laughs> How's that float your penis? Um, <laughs> Sorg, if you want to, there is a picture associated with uh, with the Sonic Screwjob email in a separate email. Okay, I'll try to bring them up here while you go. Okay. Greetings, Mayhem Incorporated. That is what a three-hour Raw is supposed to look like. Now I grant you, I was worried during the rap battle between Michael Cole, MCMC, and JR, which was a train wreck. Even if JR hadn't biatched it. I have to give credit where it's due, though. Cole and JR will do anything to help the company. And mm-hmm. I'll also confess that my spinner Rooney probably would look a lot like that, too. The Pipe Bob <laughs> Slammy was the second best montage of the night. I put it on my iPod so I can listen to it on the way to work. CM Punk was pretty much a shoe-in for the Slammy named after his gimmick, but, quote, the grits are going to hit the pan, was my favorite quote. I wonder if our truth would have had an honorable mention if he wasn't suspended. Shame. But, on a brighter note, his glaucoma has pretty much cleared up. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the hands-down highlight of the night was CM Punk's tribute to JLR with a dynamic montage set to Stan Bush's epic, The Touch. It saved me Touch. having to drop a Remember Box moment, too. Guys, in closing, I just want to say congratulations on your 300th show, and thank you for letting the fans have a place to lurk or chirp. Sonic. P.S. I knew a predecessor for John Morrison had to be found, but is Dor- Orton dating Melina, or what? P.S.S. I don't have a hall of pain, but I am building a breakfast nook of despair. <laughs> and the picture included is Optimus Prime. Hey, CM Punk. Thanks for the trend. And he's giving a thumbs up. So there you go. Uh, and you got a second one there, LB. I do have a second one. There are pictures and an MP3 that we haven't read or listened to. So Hold on a second. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll get on that there. Um, okay. Yeah, go, go ahead and start. All right, all right. <clears throat> Holy shit, Batman, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. It's been a while since I've main evented this show, but like Cena in an overrated contest, I can't be contained, Ninja. Let's start the show. 
Last night was a three-hour WWE spectacular, The Slammies, and boy, did Raw seem three hours long. Starting off chronologically, the JR vs. Cole segment was atrocious and highly unnecessary. Haven't we suffered enough? I'm tired of Michael pissed face Cole. Bad enough this asshole sucks on commentary. Bad enough this asshole make everything about him. But to take away from the professionals is utterly bullshit. Oh my. If you like that bitch ass Cole, ninja fuck what you say. Mm-hmm. Road dog, my ninja, road dog returned. How happy was I when the DO double G returned? Fucking happy as shit. I even high fived my girlfriend, and she wants Chris Paul to go to the Clippers. Dumb bitch. <laughs> Kane returned too? Well, Kane in a mask, within a mask, and he fucked up Cena too. Kane is back, y'all. Now, before I go, I want to ask this to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. If Kane was put in the Hall of Fame, why would he waste his time on just Cena? If you like Garrett Bischoff, TNA, and or Michael Cole, fuck what you say. <laughs> there you go. You got your theme music and everything. Ooh. Yeah, and there's Fancy. some great pictures associated. Uh, one is Jean-Luc Picard pointing. Yep. says, there's the door, now get the fuck out. <laughs> and... Uh, the other one. What's that bitch's name? Casey Anthony. Okay, picture oh, Casey Anthony is? drinking and doing a shot, and it says, I don't always kill my children, but when I do, I get away with it. There you go. A little bit of flavor with his uh, emails, I guess. Flavor. Uh, <laughs> flavor, wow. flavor. Wow. And I think, wow. is that all the email for this week? Yep. Ooh, except think so. for the AON report. Yeah, yep. Except for the AON report, but that is for the other segment. Yes. That yes. segment. And that segment is the Indie Wait, wait, no. God, no. I, wait. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. WrestleFan. I'm just going to let WrestleFan. I hate the it. segment, and I know that it's now called This Week in Indie Wrestling. Yeah, I know you hate it, Chad. It's so new. Okay, This Week in Indie Wrestling wow. is going to start off with the AON report for this week. Wait, hold week on. From Bobby we have to F. address J-Town. something first. Greetings, my fellow. Wait, 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 Chachi, Chachi wants wow. to address something. What do you need oh, to address? Oh, just, fine, address it. Address stuff. Well, on the Twitters, on Twitters, WrestleFan made an offer. Okay. He he suggested. What? You know that, you can't do those kind of offers in this country. I know. Oh. He suggested that at the end of the indie, the this week in indie wrestling, I almost mm-hmm. called it the indie minute. This week in the yeah. indie minute. Yeah, this week in the indie minute. No. He uh. He suggested that I put up, or I, I, I mentioned my experiences in indie wrestling since now I'm filming it with you. And so I told Why him. Why to kayfabe it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, never mind. And I had to, uh, <laughs> I, I, I told him that I had to discuss, discuss it with my writing staff and manager. And I did. Okay. And they suggested that it was a terrible fucking idea <laughs> and that I shouldn't do it. <laughs> Go on with your bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Until the indie week in indie. Oh, That's phenomenal. Go, Go on with your, your bullshit. bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> wow, I think he, yeah. <laughs> Greetings, my fellow carpetbaggers. This, here's the AON report for show 300. For whom the bell tolls from Planet Ice in Johnstown. In a Flood City street fight, uh, Randall Fairway versus Zach Rain. Randall Fairway won with outside interference from Black Lightning and other members of the operation. Akiba versus the original Florida Thug. Chaos came into the ring and stole Akiba's sword to distract him and pick up the win for OFT. X Man. Sword? <laughs> he's, his name is Akiba, I'm assuming. Uh, uh, Akiba. <laughs> X-Man interviewed Manchild <laughs> and was interrupted and beat down by a friend of the show, Cass Edison, in Psycho Fusion, which led to James Ford versus Psycho Fusion. James Ford picked up the victory. Adam Nostikov debuted a new title to AON, the USSR Soviet heavyweight title. Kitty, I am doing a show. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, my uh, kitty's uh, a jerk hole. Go on. That's, that's okay, I'll wait for Schrodinger. <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead. he's done. Uh, anyone is looking into the validity of the title. Slip into it here. versus the Hassel Brothers. Slip, <laughs> slip into Kit won the match. Um, Black Lightning versus Gerard Hall. Black Lightning won the match, but AONGM Drew Shannon 
hit the ring and restarted the match after the operation got involved. Sherrod ended up winning the match after it was restarted and became the new television champion. That will do it for the AON report. That uh, was from one Bobby yes, F.J. Yes, but Tom. that will not all do it. Oh, wait, that's Chachi. Um, because I want to point out uh, one, one, one aspect about uh, YouTube has done by changing everything in the last week. If you <laughs> go hit the button for their YouTube page on AON, uh, you say, I'm going to get wrestling. I'm going to get all this stuff. But if you go to the, the top thing on their feed, because apparently they've been watching kitten videos. <laughs> uh, so uh, instead, this is what you get for the AON report. Oscar the Blind Kitten and his first... <laughs> Boys. Uh, oh, and there's apparently an kidding. ad for this as well. But, this is uh, the Kitten Phil Mayhem show. Or Kitten Phil well, uh, this now week in it's this, this week. week in Cute Kittens, ladies and gentlemen. Like there he is. Monster's first toys. There he is. Look at him go. He's wrestling the shit out of that. He's so cute. <laughs> it doesn't get better than this. All other Indies should stop. <laughs> yes, A.O.N. has, has the secret. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he should wrestle that ball. <laughs> <laughs> we gave him several balls with bells inside. Oh, uh, okay. Aww. Anyways, anyways, sorry about that. Go on, go on with your men of the I don't, I don't need to go on, but no, 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 no. <laughs> no, because uh, we got the kitten. Look at him go. There's oh, nothing that you can say that's going to top that. Time. Yes, the next hour and a half is going to be this kitten playing with this ball. Welcome to Kitten <laughs> Playing With Ball, episode 300. Is that to, like Benny Hill music? <laughs> no, that's wrong. <laughs> that thing, you would fit it. <laughs> I can't stop watching it. <laughs> that's funny. Um... Oh, so do I have so, to do my segment now? Okay. So <laughs> still so want it. If you haven't lost all hope after seeing that video. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Um, and here's an update uh, from a news story that we did last week about the ECW arena closing, basically. And uh, mm. these are – it's sort of kind of conflicting reports because I heard a rumor that the people that um, were going to buy the ECW arena were going to work uh, around some of the companies and see, you know, maybe they can give them some sh- spots to do shows. Um, however, there was a report that um, Juggalo Championship Wrestling had to cancel an event that was uh, held going to be held at the ECW Arena because of the new, I guess, regime or whatever that is owning uh, the ECW Arena. So I, I, it's going to be interesting to see. I know a couple other companies have events scheduled already, so I, I'm wondering if they're going to get dropped or what's really going to happen. Uh, uh, from what I all- saw, there are dates for CZW and I want to say uh, somebody else. Chikara, I think, also. Is it a- Chikara? That, that there are dates that are still supposedly still going. So I, uh, Honestly... I think it's going to be on, on a per company basis. You think like like like, like I could see a new because owner. it was like a, it was like a religious group was going to take it. Yeah, over, I could right? see a new owner saying no to JC Dub. Yeah, because I mean that's insane clown posse. Um, I can kind of get that not being that's approved. loosely wrestling. The, th- wait, yeah. the thing <laughs> is though, if they're going to say no to JCW, they have a and CZW still has a date. They haven't watched CZW. No, <laughs> I, I know. CZW's kind of wild. That's a bit of a double standard they, right they there. Are, yeah. They yeah, the really, really see see and they death. still do some crazy shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, it, I, I, I definitely want to see what comes out of this. Um, it's, it's just something to really keep an eye on. Um, and then also uh, to uh, talk about, well, there, this weekend there were a couple in the events. Uh, I'll first, I'll mention IWC, which was uh, this past Saturday. Um, I know that the Sorg and the Chachi were in attendance, as he mentioned. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, I heard it was a great event. Uh, Jimmy Noarco uh, winning the uh, IWC World Heavyweight Championship. Facade winning the ladder match for the uh, Super Indie Championship. So it's definitely, I definitely agree, definitely sounds like a great show, and definitely you know pick up the DVD mm-hmm. um, when it comes out. So they usually uh, do a good a job of coming out with the DVDs, so it should be out pretty soon. Not this one. Not this one. <laughs> Not this one. Uh, okay, and I disclose that it's on this hard drive right here, and it's uh, almost edited. Um, oh boy! Yeah. Mm, With was, some great we're... shots. Great shots by Chachi. <laughs> no, it was a fantastic show. Chachi got one to brag. No, no, but Chachi, the Chachi, I think did a great job for the first time on the it, hard cam, uh, and uh, and uh, I think he's going to have a lot say, of fun doing that. Let me so, just say yeah. that uh, I don't 
want to do ringside <laughs> next month. Well, granted, this is the first show you attended, and uh, oh. all the title matches were at least a three-way, four-way tag scramble match, and a four-way ladder, ladder match. match for the Super Indie belt, <laughs> yeah, plus a Lucha tag match, uh, which they didn't do the tag rules very well. No. Um, so, <laughs> and your first impressions are? Well... Let's start. Wait, with no, the, no, no. Uh, wait, 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 wait. No, what no, do you no. Mean first impressions. He declined my offer. Shut up. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no, that, my whole thing is, uh, it was awesome watching Jimmy DeMarco, friend of the show, um, win back the championship. Mm -hmm. The part I wasn't excited about and looking <laughs> forward to next month is the fact that I'm probably going to get smacked in the head with dildos. <laughs> 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 and like I said. Oh, Indie wrestling just, is just not another weekend, Chachi. Come on. <laughs> I think it's a per per perfect point to get it because I know we were talking while they were cleaning up because there was a lot of confetti. There was a lot of people yeah. doing stupid stuff uh, <sighs> uh, from the audience. Um, so they were doing cleanup and hanging the bell for the, the ladder match after the, the, the Jimmy's win. Uh, and, and, and Chachi, you remember I was on the headset and I had to do a, a I did a perimeter around the ring because I wanted <laughs> yes. to make sure nobody, including myself, slipped on a dildo. <laughs> We had a discussion because so we I were trying to figure out check. going around how, how you would explain that to the emergency room and your, <laughs> your insurance and your insurance company when you roll up there injured because you slipped and fell on a dildo. <laughs> Not to mention the funniest thing ever, which is more funny than the uh, the cat video we just watched, was a, was a group of kids chasing. <laughs> Chasing down and having a dildo fight <laughs> because the ref. Wait, I missed that because yes. because the ref threw a dildo across the arena or across I'm, the so gymnasium. I'm, I'm assuming they were sword fighting, but with no, they were, no, no, they were throwing they were, it at each they other. They were picking up the dildo and whipping it at each other. It was, <laughs> it was like a gigantic cock fight. It was it was dodge so dildo. Didn't this used to be a family show? <laughs> <laughs> it used to be. It definitely used to be. Not so As much said, these days. Indie wrestling I, has I, I blame it's like, Jimmy. It's not PG anymore. I blame Jimmy Vegas. Yeah. Um, Jimmy uh, Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> um, Here's a tip for indie wrestlers. Yes. If you want to get a spot on the DVD that you can put in your highlight reel. <laughs> Pay attention to the camera that's not moving oh, on the upper deck. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Well, that's 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 a that's a big thing. I mean, and that you know, you know, as fans are they're, they're videographers now of wrestling. You that's know, all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. A lot, you you can tell who who kind of pays attention to being on TV and who doesn't. Mm -hmm. There so. were two people during the show that played to my camera. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> the announcer <laughs> who would look up and nod. When he was getting ready to start. I don't think he was nodding to you. I don't care. He looked up. <laughs> like He, he looked uh, up Paige, at no, me. He, Pedro DeLuca was giving you the sexy eyes, I bet. He was. <laughs> and I forget the other guy's name. Uh, Which guy? I forget. Was it a wrestler? Yeah. Okay. I forget. Was it uh, Dalton <laughs> Castle? Because I think he was definitely giving you a sexy eye. Probably. Yeah, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, yeah. Dalton Castle it has that kind of look. It's like, hey, Chachi. <laughs> but yeah, so you want you want a highlight reel? Pay attention to the camera. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, mm -hmm. this is, well, that's a good point to touch. Uh, yeah, we'll get get to the rest of yours, Wrestle fan. Uh, but uh, 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 wheels. What, what was what was the thing? Now, you, RWA was this weekend as well. Seasons uh -huh. Beatings Three, which apparently is also an AON show name. But, yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> I think every indie promotion around Christmas time comes up with that. So it's like, oh, it's an easy one. Oh, and there's Christmas with. chaos this weekend in PWX. So, uh, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of those as well. I think JCW did one of those one year, too. Um, I, I think maybe even AIW does that. But anyway, so what what happened this week? What, what happened at RWA uh, that you got to see firsthand? Oh, I mean, you've been there, Sorg, and some of these wrestlers are a little nuts, and <laughs> that's putting it mildly. But I worry about the fans now. It's like, during the whole show, you don't have to worry about the wrestlers cussing or like anything like that. It's the fans. It's like, every five seconds, you're a pussy, this blah, 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 blah. I'm like, good God, this isn't a family show anymore. <laughs> wait, 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 because you don't you remember um, particularly that one match uh, you guys had down in uh, what's that called? Hot shots. 
uh, out mm-hmm. in like not Pleasant Hills, but Pleasant uh, Mount Pleasant, Pleasant. Um, because that one especially oh. was rough. Because I heard, I heard, uh, uh, you know, I heard faggot all night. I heard the n word all oh. night. I mean, that was bad. That was that, really like, bad. That's coming from that, the fans. Well, and, and at least yeah, that's the fans. R W A. You hold it in like sort of a sort of a like a pretty nice you know setting or whatever the show i went to sunday was in a whoa 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 let's like wait wait whoa 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 hello well what <laughs> aaron do you want to describe where they held these things oh am i wrong? okay it's an old school gym and i mean <laughs> no offense to the gym because they they're really great with oh this, yeah but i'm afraid if somebody sneezed the wrong way that ceiling is coming down on all of us. Okay, well, no, I, I mean, like, it was a it was a gym. Like, it was a nice, it, I mean, not nice. Okay, it uh, wasn't nice. Let, like, okay, it, it's but, safe to say, without any slight to RWA, that it, it, it takes place in some very backwoods locations. Uh, okay. I mean, okay. Yeah. Compa- compared Street to the fact not, that, I yeah. mean, just to, like, give a perspective, Sunday I was in a bar where me and two other people were the only ones not drinking, and the other two were like had to be like seven or eight years old. <laughs> so that's that's my perspective. Now that's on the whole and thing. that that's that's pretty much my experience with uh, 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 AIW Absolute Championship Wrestling up in wait a absolutely intense wrestling. No, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah up absolutely in Cleveland. Intense wrestling. Um, like, a lot of times they're at bars and in, in, in places like that. Um, the old uh, the WEW Women's Erotic Wrestling uh, uh, DVDs were always like that. Uh, the old FIP shows were in bars sometimes. Wasn't didn't CM Punk fight Homicide in a strip club? Yep. Um, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah. She was a whore. So that's the whole other side. And and, and uh, it, well, uh, the Palisades had a bar. I remember for uh, Super Indie that one year, uh, so, but not like <laughs> I do remember that one. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. open bars that's at not wrestling when, uh, shows are not a good idea. When, um, <laughs> Spike was drunk and stuff like that. And I'm sure. <laughs> I think there was a couple people that were drunk, including maybe the wrestlers. Uh, yeah. Oh, Spike. I thought you meant Spiker. I'm sorry. Yeah, Spike, Spike Dudley. Dudley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it, it's it, it it's uh everybody wants to be edgy, and I guess they're they're kind of coming back around to that, you know. Uh, and then the fans, obviously, the fans want it because that's how the fans are. I was going to say, I don't know <laughs> if it's the promotions that want to do it, but I think the fans want like that attitude era back. Yeah, there's definitely some um, off color signs from the IWC show that you're going to see on the DVD uh, <laughs> it, that you really can't get around. Uh, now. But, One thing uh, I gotta mention before while you get while you were just talking about IWC, I was looking at a fan's picture that went to the show that also comes to RWA. I was looking at the new tag belts. Mm-hmm. I don't know who did them, but I wasn't really impressed with those ones as much as the heavyweight and the super indie. No, I I, I want to say the same it's the same thing. I don't know. I don't think there's any pictures up yet on uh, on their site, uh, but they probably will be after the DVD gets released here. Uh, but they are um, they're not like the coin belts you see in WWE, but uh, but but they're pretty <laughs> decent. Coin belts. Uh, they they they, they, they do, it, but they do have that kind of like all gold look to them. Not like gold plated like like the other ones, but like that. That uh, not shiny gold, you know, more matte finish to them. <laughs> not yeah. shiny. But, um, Chachi, did you get a good look at them? I did. I, I don't think you did. Like, I didn't notice yeah. until, like, they had them in the ring. I was like, oh, shit, there's new belts. Uh, which is cool, because those are the ones that, you know, have been the longest without a redesign in that fed. So uh, it's good to see that, you know. It, it, it brings a little bit of newness to it. And uh, and, and uh, I like to see that they, they, they're they keeping those up. You know, Super Indie Belt, uh, IWC Championship Belt were, were great redos in my well, mind. Well, the old, the old belt did have, like, Spray paint on it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I, I think they had to change that. Well, yeah, maybe, maybe they had a problem when they had, they had to take the paint thinner to it or something like that. So, anyways, let's toss it to you, Wrestle Fan. You experienced some crazy wrestling this weekend. Well, yeah, just he to got wrap it up. On. And I mean, I, um, I'm not going to go too in depth on it. Um, I'm planning on possibly making a sort of a report, I guess, on WrestlingMayhemShow.com okay. about the weekend of events. But I'll just give you a brief run through. I went to. Um, our friends at River City Wrestling this past Saturday um, at the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. It was a great show. At um, a lot of great action. Uh, the main event of uh, Honky Kong and Jingo Wallaby winning the uh, banana ladder match, which I never <laughs> knew how violent a banana ladder match could be. That was pretty freaking insane. Um, and sadly, uh, could, uh, the minister, Rick David, defeating Andromeda, meaning that she is gone from RCW forever. No! 
Ben. <laughs> that's uh, the fans' that, girlfriend's that's girl. That's how I was all night, all all sad night. Oh, um, no, just oh, crying, and jerking off in your balls. tears. <laughs> He called us Pretty and told much. us that he okay. got peed on. Um, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did. He did. He called. We're walking out. We got packed up. We're walking out of the IWC show. We're packed in the car, and he calls us and 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 the 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 things that happened to him. Yeah, he said he got peed on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> said, what? what? Yes, that's exactly who. Did Wait, it. standing up or sitting down? That's the true true question. Squatting. Wait, I'm confused. Did I, wait, did I get pee on and not know it? What? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, tell us about I, the I other things know. where you okay. didn't get peed on. Um, we're but drunk, no, weren't you? Yeah, it was definitely a great <laughs> show. Their next show is uh, January 7th, where the main event will be friend of the show, Ray Rowe, defending the RCW title against Hernandez. So uh, that's definitely going to be a really great event. Mm. Uh, you can get your tickets at rivercitywrestling.net. And then the next day, uh, Sunday, I went to uh, Anarchy Championship Wrestling's Delusions of Our Childish Days at uh, Mohawks in Austin, Texas. It was a great show. And I mentioned there were, yes, it was a majority of people that were drinking a lot, but that made the show fun. Uh, <laughs> no, but it was <laughs> a great, not it was a a great event, a lot of great wrestling. Um, Robert Evans, uh, the essence of excellence, picking up the win over El Generico in the main event. Got to meet El Generico, great guy. Um, I got a t-shirt, by the way. If you can check that out. Um, definitely a great event. Um, they have another event, uh, January 15th. It's their big show of the year, you know, the big, like, capper show. Uh, Guilty by Association 6, um, once again at Mohawks in Austin, Texas. Uh, Jerry Lynn will be there, as well as uh, countless other uh, ACW stars. If you want new tickets, go to anarchychampionshipwrestling.com and uh, go order your tickets there. And, yeah, like I said, I will have a full report of uh, everything that I felt and everything I liked from the uh, weekend of events at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. It'll probably be up either tomorrow or Thursday. Um, So definitely go check that out. And the final note I want to make, just really quickly, um, December 23rd, um, Ring of Honor's final battle will be um, on iPay-Per-View and in Manhattan Center in New York City. Uh, The main event of Davey Richards uh, defending his title against Eddie Edwards with Dan the Beast Severin in his corner, so that is uh, that's going to be a very intense match. It's uh, it's uh, Richards and Edwards three, so it's going to be the deciding one. It's going to prove who's the best wrestler. Um, also, the World's Greatest Tag Team against the Briscoes for the tag titles. Uh, Jay Lethal, El Generico, and Mike Bennett for the TV title, and uh, much more stuff. If you want more information, go to uh, ROHWrestling.com. Go check them out, show them some love, and buy the iPay per view. And that's the this week in indie wrestling. If I can just add on one more mention to friends of the show, Joe Dombrowski, uh, and Pro Wrestling Ohio, PWWrestling.com, uh, and a few friends of the show on this as well. They're having an eye pay per view this weekend, or if you're local uh, around the Parma, Ohio area, uh, they're having a big one this weekend. Big uh, four way. They got Matt Justice, Johnny Gargano, Jason Bain, Crimson, J- Gregory Iron, of course, Matt Cross, Marion Fentane, Sassy Steph. Uh, it's Brawl Hall, Brawl in the Hall One. Uh, so go check that out. That's on Go Fight Live as well. Hey, someone came up with a new name. Hmm? Yeah, oh, right. yes. Yes. It doesn't involve Christmas or or Seasons Beatings or, or, seasons anything, beatings. or anything of the sort. So it's there you an go. original name. Yay. 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 So. <laughs> Greatest so. name ever, TBA 2008. <laughs> yeah. 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 Did they have that show? Uh, yeah, uh, I remember it vividly. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say about that. So, hey, let's toss it to uh, Riz. Introduce our new next interview. Oh, I'm doing this? Sure. Uh, <clears throat> our next interview is going to be, uh, when we come back, we'll have Dan Hinkles, the creator of Wrestling Manager, on the uh, the uh, wrestling ios app for your iphone and ipad and it's a good interview go check it out congratulations mayhem show and your 300th episode sorry boys now yeah there's a fake camp 
And guys, it's time for our interview. There's Chachi playing it. It is out. We talked to him a few uh, months ago, was it? Uh, wrestling manager on the iOS, on your iPhone. He's playing on the iPad, of course. It is compatible. Uh, on the on the phone with us right now from uh, overseas, Dan Hinkles, the uh, lead uh, lead designer on Wrestling Man- Wrestling Manager. Uh, how you doing tonight? I'm good, man. Or morning. How are you guys? Hope we're all well. Or morning, as the case may be. <laughs> well, I'll be going back to bed after this. Let me tell you. <laughs> uh, how long has the uh, the app been been uh, out uh, uh, at this point, and, and how's the reception been so far? Well, we launched a few weeks ago, um, and the reception's kind of been mixed. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, we we did a lot of testing, right? We, I mean, we tested this game like crazy. Um, and we got it stable on all the test devices that we had over here. Then what we did is we, we sent it to Apple. They tested it. They, and then they put it out for sale. Um, unfortunately, we somehow managed to release it, even with all the testing, with a few sort of crash bugs. Mm-hmm. Um, so some people was playing it, and it was getting sort of a couple of minutes into the game, and it was crashing. And then it was doing an hour, and it was crashing. So it was kind of bad to start with so we we got a patch out there already so like i say it's only been out a couple of weeks we've already had the first patch out that's fixed all that and now the feedback's been really positive um people seem to be liking the game we're, we're getting quite a hardcore little group of fans that are supporting us and sending in ideas to improve it and you know just it's been pretty fantastic if i'm honest Excellent. Uh, for for people that may not have uh, uh, caught us last time or, or checked out the game, uh, can you kind of describe what kind of wrestling game it is here? Yeah, sure. So it's a, a res- wrestling management sim, um, and the idea is that you start out as a sort of a small time promoter, putting on shows in front of fifty people, and your goal is to kind of work your way up into bigger arenas, sign TV deals. Um, pay-per-view deals and then eventually you get to duke it out online with sort of like the biggest tv rating war there is so it's um it's a management game <laughs> uh, now, uh, it's enough for you guys i don't <laughs> now uh, uh riz and i have uh, had a little bit of uh, time with this game uh riz you've had a little bit more than i have at this point uh what are your impressions of it so far um so far i do like the game uh it's pretty neat it's pretty neat neat uh, it reminds me of uh back in the in the old wwe smackdown vs raw games when they had the uh build a, a, a gm mode mm-hmm. where you can create a match where you can create a year and all that stuff that was good i liked that aspect of it and i liked how you kept like similar names on here like the business uh, like that be, be a copy of the Miz and like try to keep the same flavor to it. I do like that a lot. And, but like you said, I do have some bugs that come up sometimes, but I'm pretty sure we can fix that. Mm-hmm. Um, but overall it's, it's really, it's a really good play. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a relief eh? Cause I mean, if you'd have slotted it right there, this would have been a whole different interview. <laughs> 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 so uh, the game, the, the game is interesting. It, it's um, it's nine ninety nine in the App Store. I have to, I have to ask, uh, kind of maybe it's a little bit inside the, uh, baseball for the developer side, uh, but that it does seem uh, at first glance, and I think some of the reviews kind of reflect this thought as well. That seems a little high for an iOS game at this point. I know that's a tough thing to try to pick uh, the price points, and I'm sure there was a lot of deliberation over it. Uh, uh, can, can you tell us, can, can you tell us, uh, pretty much can you justify those, that to the detractors uh, uh, about it being a $10 uh, iPhone game? Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is, guys, the difference between developing an iPhone game and developing any other kind of game is just that, you know, you, you're paying programmers Mm-hmm. to work on a different platform. But mm-hmm. the, at the end of the day, you still have to pay these programmers, you know? <laughs> and we, what we did is we went out and we, we picked up some of, you know, the industry's sort of great programmers. We, we've got guys that worked on games like Portal and, and games like Grand Theft Auto and Crackdown mm-hmm. and things like that. Awesome. So, wow. you know, unfortunately, they come with wages. And, it, and it's one of those <laughs> things where we, 
we, we looked at the market. We knew that wrestling management games was not particularly um, out there. For example, we're, we're the first wrestling management game on the iPhone. Mm-hmm. Um, if you look at all the different wrestling management game series out there, they tend to be made by one or two guys kind of who are just hardcore fans. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and they're kind of sat in the bedrooms doing it or things like that. We, we've kind of... We tried to do this in a, a more professional way. Tried to get it so that it's you know a really big, really long game. Mm-hmm. The the downside is that because there isn't like a massive game out there, the market's a fairly small thing. So so yeah, there's tons of wrestling fans, but how many of them wrestling fans are WWE fans and won't play something without a WWE license? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then on top of that, how many of them would play a management game? And then even smaller version of that is how many of them have, who who would play a wrestling game who don't care about the licensing fee, actually have an iPhone, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and and then it's, so so now we get down to a real small number of people, and it's kind of like well, if we're gonna make this great game, we're gonna need support from the people that want to play the same kind of game, if you know what I mean. Exactly, exactly. So this isn't for. Basically, it's, it, it, you don't think about this as as for the general iPhone, say, gaming Angry Birds audience. This is for the hardcore fan, the hardcore wrestling fan. that's going to appreciate this. Yeah, totally. I mean, it, it's not like my mom's going to pick this up and play it. You know? Yeah, exactly. You just look, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they'll pick up. They'll pick up the uh, the Angry Birds WWE game. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah. Out there. <laughs> that's that's what I mean. That's the kind of game that you're getting on a wrestling thing right now and that's Mm -hmm. because these games are are crazy expensive to make and i think people underestimate it you know Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i mean it's not modern warfare 3 but it still is a pretty high price tag well yeah i mean to to give you an idea we've worked on this for a year we've got i mean if you look at the credits there's a ton of people in them credits oh yeah um and then and then on top of that what we're actually doing is we're going to be supporting this for the next year um, so that's going to be. So we're already on what patch one's just come out. Mm-hmm. We're about to launch update two. Um, that brings with it some more features. So, so in the first month, there's going to have been two updates. By the time this time next year, there's going to have been so many free updates that I really just think it's worth the fee. You know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, like- and on top of that, I'd love to know how long it takes you guys to complete this. Because to me, if you're going to play a game for twenty, thirty hours. You know, I mean, is that really too much to ask? Seven ninety nine or nine ninety nine in dollars? <laughs> exactly, exactly. To be honest, I haven't put this down yet. I was at work and I did was playing this, so it was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're playing it at work, so it's definitely yeah. working out. Right? It, it, it's nice because it is uh, because it's just a, a management game as opposed to if you're picking up like what I think WWE had like a Legends game. Like you expect a wrestling game, you want something like Raw versus SmackDown or something. I think at first yeah. thought. And you're and you're not going to be sneaking that like like Riz is at, at his desk, you know. Uh, so or right now during the show apparently. Right now. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, this tremendous, is just great. Tremendous. Um, What's up, Josh? How you doing over there? You're 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 snickering a little bit at some of the oh, stuff going on. This, I, now this is the first time you've picked this up yeah, at the beginning of the show. I, here. I went into the auctions, and it's where you can bid on wrestlers mm-hmm. to join your Fed, and it takes your uh, your money. But um, <laughs> no, it's game money. Um, the money you made for mm-hmm. matches and everything. Um, I'm just looking at some of the names. Uh, the business. Uh, I have see. him. The, um, the art's great on this thing. Uh, Christian Rage. Mm-hmm. Um, the Leprechaun. There's the Overtaker. Yeah, the Overtaker. <laughs> um, Kingston, Completely Jamaica. original characters, right? Uh, <laughs> no, this is Abel. Yeah, Abel. Um, Dos Rodriguez. So I, I mean, mean, it's people just are, like, fans will appreciate. Yeah, it. it's, it's yeah, just yeah. entertaining stuff. This is great. This is great. We we've actually got one or two guys that have really taken exception to this, um, and they're going around every forum that they can find and slagging the game off just <laughs> because we've done that. <laughs> I mean, we, <laughs> the company's called Serious Parody for Christ's sake. You would think they yeah. would know. Yeah, that's true. What was getting? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I can bid on. Madison Square Garden. I'm doing that. (laughs) (laughs) 
Awesome, awesome. So, um, of course, you guys are are, are are getting caught up with the updates and, and fix it. You know, that's always going to happen when you finally get this thing out on, you know, how many hundreds or thousands of devices, you know. Oh. Uh, but aside from just kind of catching up and, and, and squashing the bugs, uh, what what's, uh, you know, you say you're going to have a lot of updates. Is there anything on the wish list for this game uh, uh, that we can expect? There's so many things that you guys can expect. So, <laughs> the... Um, Apart from, like, say, the bugs and patches, but the, the we've got a patch that we're submitting to Apple this Friday, for example. Mm-hmm. Um, what that does is it brings a feature that lets you copy all of... Um, you, you basically get to put um, pictures of wrestlers in a folder, drag them into iTunes, type the name of the wrestlers into a text file, and then every wrestler in the game will be updated with, like, real pictures. Huh. Now, if, if you imagine that, that that might sound like a lot of work for one guy, but if the community sort of grab a hold of this, mm-hmm. what mm-hmm. that could mean is that this time in a couple of weeks, you could be playing this game, and instead of using the Overtaker, um, you know, I'm, I'm very sure somebody out there will go and grab the Undertaker, and then you're playing with that kind of a thing. Um, and I'm sure that's going to appeal to some people. Awesome. Then we've got things like bookers that we're bringing into the game, which are going to be sort of um, basically they're going to help with automating the process you know. so if you've got a really high class booker he's going to pick matches that make sense we've got rivalries coming up we've got storyline coming up oh, we, we've just got a, a serious ton of features merchandise so that you can buy and sell things at arenas and stuff and so that you can produce guys like John Cena who are you know merchandise money making guys <laughs> I mean, there's really an opportunity too. If you like have a favorite local fed, you can you can kind of uh, shape this towards that. Like you know, if we wanted like say uh, Ring of Honor or or you know our local uh, IWC or something like that, you can start kind of start uh, emulating that and kind of play fantasy whatever, right? Yeah, totally. Um, so. They're all the kind of things that we're trying to do. You know, um, we just. I don't know. We, we we love the game. To be honest, we, you know, I, I, I play it myself. I'm, I'm I play, get this. So I test the game on a regular basis. Yeah, I mean, I'm seeing all of anything that's wrong with it, but I'm still coming home and playing it mm-hmm, as mm-hmm. an actual game. I just think that's uh, and, I, and because of that, I get to see all the ways that we can improve it, and I'm I'm so excited for what it's going to be in the in the future. Excellent ultimate Excellent. Y match and. The tables, ladders, and stairs. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome, excellent. I just bought that one for you. <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> So, hey, thanks a lot. It, 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 it's looking great. The guys are having fun with it, obviously, right here. I'm sure Chachi's is going to be playing at the rest of the show now. Well, <laughs> you, you've lost me. Yeah, we've lost them. <laughs> so uh, I, I think you got the ringing endorsement right there from the Mayhem show between Chachi and Riz. Riz, you got any final thoughts on the game before we uh, uh, let our guests go here? No, I think everything, everything was everything looks good. I can't wait to see the updates to it and mm-hmm. the bug, fi- bug fixes and all that stuff. But it looks great. Great looks like a great game. I gotta say, it's even looking good. Like I said, he's he's playing this on an iPad. It, it's a, it's an iPhone developed game, uh, but he's playing at two X and an iPad. It still looks really decent. I think. I mean, it, it doesn't it, Chach? Oh no, it looks great. Mm-hmm. Um, you can't tell. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, so, hey, Dan, thanks a lot again. Hey, tell us where can people check out more about the game and uh, and get the game itself. Uh, well, you can get the game from iTunes or from your app store and things like that. Um, and you know, you come see wrestlingmanagement.com, and we've got loads of info on there. One thing I will say is we're out in the forums as much as we possibly can. Um, uh, we've been quite heavy on Touch Arcade, so we're spending a lot of time in the forums there, mm-hmm. um, and various smaller sort of wrestling forums like the UK Fan Forum and things like that, where we're just trying to sort of we, we want to get everybody's feedback on the game because the the best way to improve a game is to get feedback from the people that play it. So if if you you know, if you've got ideas, if you, if you look at something and you go, well, maybe this could do it a different way, or maybe you could add this to it, please come and tell us. Um, and if you find a bug in the game, please come and tell us. We, we'll be able to fix it that way. We'll get it as, as good as we can possibly get it, you know? Excellent. Excellent. 
All right, we'll be um, keeping an eye on that. Let us know if there's anything else, uh, any other big updates, and we'll be sure to share it with our audience here. Uh, and and like I said, we've we've definitely lost Chachi for the rest of the show. So <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what I want, what wrestlers I want to bid on. Uh, j- just a couple of tips there. If you double tap the card, it turn over. Oh, hey, look at that! What's that? Oh, there you go, <laughs> full size. Put it on the cameras. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> nice. I didn't even see that. That's great. That's awesome. Yeah, if you if you if you tip that thing in the bottom right hand corner, it'll turn over, and you'll be able to see a lot of stats and things. The other right hand corner. Where, where where at? The question mark? So, so double tap the card. Double tap the card. Yeah. Oh, then over in the Are you a guy on the camera? Yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for that on the other and screen. Then, and then in the bottom right hand corner. Oh nice. Alright, and then you can scroll up and down there. So if you just put your oh. finger on one of them and scroll, you'll see sort of oh, right in the middle of the card. That's and there's great. more stuff there. And that'll sort of help you decide, you know, who you're buying, who you're not buying. What's going oh, I was going purely by name. <laughs> he's going. He's, he's That's a, what I did. He's very visual. He's like name, <laughs> image, in. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I really would recommend anyone playing it to check out the hints section on the uh, on the wrestlingmanagement.com as well. There's, that'll get you in the right mood, I think. Yeah, like I said, I wish I would have read that before I started playing. <laughs> so go check it out, wrestler, wrestlingmanagement.com. And uh, and thanks, Dan, for joining us, for being up way late at night, I know, uh, over there. And uh, and uh, thanks for joining us for episode 300. Uh, thank you very much for having us, guys. Take care. Excellent. And, uh, and you guys are going to go check out uh, what's going on in gold. We haven't been doing it for 300 episodes, but it's still going to be special. And we'll be right back with Mad Mike's Minute of Mayhem and more of the regular mayhem. Right here. Term last night while I was watching the G.I. Joe trailer, by the way. <laughs> that guy. What, that guy? Fuck what you say. G.I. Joe 2 is going to be the shit. <laughs> Look at the cat go. Yes, I want to cancel it, you okay. fuck. Look at the ball. Look at the ball. All right. Oh, oh sorry. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm genuinely jealous of you because you get uh, episodes of Top, uh, Top Gear before I do. <laughs> it's very upsetting. It's one of my favorite shows. What's up, bitches? It's Man Mike. Um, even with a touch of food poisoning, still bring you your minute of ma'am. Um, so I watched the Slammies this afternoon, and I have to say, all in all, it's a pretty phenomenal show. Uh, the opening segment with Cole and JR, well, it was fucking stupid, but it was also a segment that you'd expect to see in the first hour of a three hour Raw, where no one, where people forget that it's on anyway. Uh, as far as the rest of the show goes, that four way match with Ziggler, Cody, uh, Brian, and Ryder was probably one of the best televised matches I've ever seen. Um, I'm probably missing one or two matches here, but it's, I think it's the best televised match I've seen on Raw since Cena and Michaels win an hour. I'm probably missing a few here and there, but that's the last really great match I can remember. Um, as far as the TLC goes, I think the Slammies did a great job to build it up. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see a pay-per-view without John Cena booked for a singles match or any kind of match. I think that's I think it's a good experiment because TLC kind of sells itself, but not having Cena on it and then seeing the buy rates should be interesting. And uh, of course, the return of the Big Red Machine last night. He had um I'm not sure if you call it War Machine or Rocketeer or Cobra Commander or something. But both those masks looked freaking amazing, and I can't wait to see this Cena Kane feud that's probably going to happen until Rock shows up, whenever the hell that is. All right, so uh, this is Mad Mike for this week, and um, well, oh yeah, and by the way, happy 300th episodes, ma'am. Take care. Spike your hair. Woo woo woo. You know it, bitches.
Hi guys, welcome back to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I hope you liked that interview with Dan Hinkles. Um, but now I'd like to take it back to a, a different time. And remember when... Do you guys remember when, uh, back in around 96, maybe 97, whatever, um, the beginning of the Mayhemies, Mayhemies, the Slammies Award, Slammy Awards, and the awesome, cheap uh, montage that Todd Pettingill had during that first segment? where he went down the list of wrestlers and sang and danced and made fun of people. Remember how awesome that was? Ladies and gentlemen. Do you guys remember that? Yeah, talk. Oh, there we go. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Someone yes. turned me down. <laughs> I do remember that. That was the year that. before the, the one I sent you on uh, Google Chat last night. Okay. Sorry. Quiet, listen to Todd Pettingill In which thing. you corrected me and said that the Slammies have been going on since the 80s. This is true. But you didn't correct Riz, true. who no. said that 96 was the beginning of the Slammies. No, he's talking about this. Well, 96 happened. was the beginning of Todd Pettingill, sir. But um, anyhow, uh, yes, I remember that, and it was fantastic. And the, the part I brought up was uh, the year Owen Hart won and I use that term loosely, won two Slammies. Um, one, he legitimately won. And then the other, he stole and said that he won for having the best bow tie. <laughs> and the whole thing from that point on, and this was, uh, they were kind of together, starting to fall out, but um, Bret Hart had two titles, and I don't remember which belts they were at the time. But um, he had two belts. So anytime they started talking about the accomplishments of the Hart Foundation, it would be, uh, he's got two belts, I've got two slammies. And it was hilarious every time. Because no matter what he was doing, he acted as if those trophies actually meant something. Mm -hmm. The same way that Michael Cole did leading up to the slammies. You know, um, we actually uh, uh, posed a question on our uh, Facebook and Twitter uh, that was responded to this week about, um, um, uh, you know, what, what do you what do you, what award did you do you think should be on the Slammies? And actually, uh, a friend of the show, Vicky Gambino, actually did come up, did uh, bring up the Top Benningale thing too. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to throw that out there too and, and give some shout there. You know what I remember now? now I didn't watch WWE back in the uh, the, the late '90s, like you, you guys with this. Uh, but I did have a hacksaw Jim Duggan tape back in the day that included uh, a little bit of this. What are tapes? Video <laughs> cassette tape. It had this like ele electromagnetic film on it, and you put it huh. in. It's a cartridge like this big, actually. And oh, it just whatever. occurred to me; those were called VHSs. What did the H stand for? Home. Oh. Ooh. But anyway, right. what I remember <laughs> is this Slammies uh, where uh, it's it's the King Harley race getting into a, cu a tussle with uh, with uh, Mr. Hacksaw Jim Duggan, which uh, turned into a backstage brawl that this video is about 10 minutes long of this backstage brawl. And it was the most uh, there's chickens for some reason backstage at the Slammies. Um, there's uh, all, the, all kinds of random stuff that they found. And apparently this went on throughout the entire night. So, um, and that was... I forgot all about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And again, I didn't have cable, so I didn't know the Slammies were a thing until I had uh, uh, purchased this tape, apparently. Uh, <laughs> this may be... And there's Gorilla Monsoon interviewing uh, Bobby the Brain Heenan during the fight. I think a gorilla just passed by. Um, <laughs> and, and you see it was a cage match at one point uh, in which uh, Harley Race and Bobby the Brain Heenan locked themselves inside the cage uh, to get away from... Excellent. Apparently a cameraman was in with them. Uh, so uh, so there you go. I would just like too. to point out that I've never been a fan of the Slammies. Really? Ever. Really? Yeah. Complete pointless. Well, you know. I have one Slammy memory, and that memory, Sonny. What mm -hmm. more do you need, really? 
What does Sun, what does Sunny do, or does it just not matter? It, does, it doesn't she have to do anything. Want to slam me? Yeah, she doesn't have to do anything. Yeah, all she has to do is exist. Yep. Mm mm mm. Just stay I said the thing about her, and I got a boner. Yep. <laughs> That's right. Oh. That's exactly right. Body Donna's. <laughs> oh man, remember when she um uh, uh there was like the Legion return of, Doom, of Legion of Doom, and she had that thing with the tits and the fire. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Hazel's taste though, just absurd. Well, you wrestle fan, what's your favorite Slammy's memory? Oh my god, really? <laughs> My favorite Sammy's memory was last night on Raw. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's okay. That's Cause, okay. Because I'm young. Okay. He didn't have time to you look at his it. remember box. <laughs> <laughs> I Excellent. did. I, knew, I really did. <laughs> That's for you, Russell fan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Riz. That's that was a that was a really good remember. So but I do have a segue. Oh, there's a segue. There's a segue. Call it. And now, like I said, the Todd Benning Gilgit thing was fine, but um, I'd like to take this time since Hot Wheels is in is here, and I think I think Wolf is still in the chat room. Yeah, it, I think we owe this them. Yeah, or we and, owe them and, this and and some of DJ Lunchbox, if yes. not all. Yes. Um, oh, we're sorry. <sighs> uh, White for. From white people to you, to black people, we are sorry. For, for I, don't, I don't see why I have to be sorry. Seg- I didn't make the segment with J.R. and Cole. <laughs> for the first segment of Raw, uh, how, uh, even people with eyes, I'm sorry for you that you haven't seen that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going ears to, you know. But, yeah, if you guys didn't see it. Um, I saw it. It was a shameful, shameful thing. Um, the old man trying to act black is horrible. Mike, no, I, thought it was, I thought it was white great. To act black first, is horrible. Horn swaggle even came worse, up with an afro. Was him falling over. That's my gimmick. That's mine. <laughs> I fall down and ask people to help me up. I don't call it a spinner, Rooney. <laughs> <laughs> and I am the whitest black man you should know, so I don't care about those ninjas. <laughs> now can you dig that, sucker? What the so fuck? fuck would you say? I, I, I think he just did a race promo. <laughs> I think he just did. Oh. I think he just. I think we just been. We got got. We got got. Uh, you got that's got. That's tremendous. Wow! Wow! Um, and if I ever see that little midget in the damn street, I'm kicking his ass. <laughs> you get a mohawk, at least not a fro. All right. Oh, uh, That's a great job. Wow. All right. I, th- I think we just covered that topic. Uh, so, Kane last night. Um, yeah. What do you guys think? I, I, we, well, one, nobody, I don't think anybody <laughs> expected it last night. The Undertaker's back and he's wearing a Kane mask. What? See? You're not <laughs> no, that's not true. But uh, I did. I did. Um, I was looking at a, a picture that was posted this morning. Of it was like a close up. It was actually a really good shot of the new mask and cane. And I swear, to you, like from the neck up, it looks like the Undertaker. Looks like old man. You got some little neck rolls and this uh, fucking Undertaker. It's not. But I mean, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled that Kane's back, and I hope they book him as a proper monster. I want him. I want him running around backstage, hitting women and children with chairs, going. I'm, I'm the devil just like that just I see him right there just, I want well, proper you, monster well, booking on Kane if you so look, late JR you can tell that that is the original Kane oh, wait, look wait, at wait, the wait, nose wait. look at the way it's shaped okay I mean I've, I've seen a lot of people say that it looks like that it's the Undertaker in the Kane get up and I'm like eh how are you going to cover up all those tattoos he has? Mm-hmm. Yeah, between tattoos and, I mean, Kane, the way the Undertaker moves is totally different from the way Kane moves, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just, you can't... Like, even looking at old matches of Kane before he was Kane uh, in old gimmicks, like... Uh, OBW yeah, Isaac Yankum. Well, yeah, and even, uh, what, I forget what was called, but I watched an oldie uh, before they were Stars OVW tape, and it's like, that's Kane, just with hair and a different outfit. 
But he was, Isaac, he was Isaac Yankum. Yeah, and he was Isaac Yankum too. Okay, he was Isaac Yankum. But he, he moved was the, the same the, way. Do you remember Isaac Yankum? I no, I didn't watch wrestling then. But oh come on, dude, he was the dentist that Jerry Lawler I, I, sicked on Bret Hart because he was like, ah, dentist, and I'm a heel, and I do everything with Bret Hart. Because <laughs> this is a good yeah, idea. promo shot. Look, great. just Google it, fucking. People. You see Kane with I his know, I, I, curly I, hair. I know of Yan- Isaac Yankum. I'm just saying yeah. I didn't watch at the time. I mean, look at that. Look Kane at that. Kane with his curly blonde. <laughs> Somebody was saying Kane should run for president. Where was it? I'll no, because actually... he's like, isn't he like super right wing crazy? No, guy? no, he's actually, I think, libertarian. He has a he has a talk radio show, a political talk radio show on like Siri, Sirius or something like that. Uh, yeah. I'll try to look it up here. Uh, right here, uh, Kane radio show. It, on Hot 99.5, Washington, D.C.'s hit music, The Kane Show. This can't be it. Uh, no way, this is it. It's not really called The Kane Show, is it? No, because this is a pink logo that I found. Um, <laughs> uh, God, what we look up his real name. But, um, yeah. Glenn something. Uh, no, I think, actually, I think it was at a, in Meeple for Jacobs. IWC. Uh, like, it was yep. uh, Chavo or Carlito said that guy should run for uh, for office. Uh, Because he's like always got a book in his house. Citizen X, he calls himself on the radio. Because he can't go by his real name anywhere, it seems. Actually, that's my porn name is Citizen X. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So, uh, so yeah. uh, So, I'm working on this. Um, But, uh, plus we got these mystery promos, which I don't think we've talked about on the show, have we? Yeah, we have. Yeah, we did. A little bit. Have we a little bit? We, we speculated on... Like, well, there we was speculated more than once. We, well, I, I feel like all the speculation has been in our Hangouts. Uh, so. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you who it is. I figured it out. Last night's promo did it for me. I figured it out, all right? Because she will be the sign of the coming and the return and all that. Kevin Thorne's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> and he's bringing... What the fuck was that vampire bitch's name? Oh, I can't uh, remember. God, that's bad. I already forgot her name. Uh, she was super yeah. hot. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Kevin DNA Thorne's coming back with his vampire bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's about. Hmm. Adventures right, of Citizen yeah. X dot com is what I found. Um and it's not a it's it's a four oh four error. Never mind. So And fail. Now we had a lot of good theories going on last night. Well, with Chris Jericho and he's coming back with uh, Daphne. Daphne was one. That'd be an interesting. Is that, is that a theory or a fantasy? Big man for some reason. Yeah, a little bit of fantasy. Uh, but yeah, but a lot of people are pretty much going with Stephanie and Shane. Seems to make the most sense out of anything. Here comes the money. Here it goes. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I guess this we'll is see. like I said in the Google Hangout. This is probably the best s- promo series they have done, hinting at who it could be and who it's like the spoil. Like, there's no spoilers. There's no one like no one knows what the hell is going on, mm-hmm. and it's gonna be it's gonna happen the f- on January second. And no one knows who the fuck it is. Yeah, we're only a few weeks out. There's no crazy puzzle to solve. Yeah. No, there's a little girl, there's a little boy, and this girl has a smile on her face, and and all of a sudden she has an evil look. It's a McMahon child. Maybe it's that (laughs) basketball guy from Shakara's coming in. Could be. Yeah. Um, but no, no, it's really, I mean, I want to say there's Sugar no, Dunk- yeah, Dunkington? Sugar Dunkington. Yeah. He's going to yeah. take over the WWE. The end is nigh. Um, <laughs> the end is nigh from the three point line. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyways, it, it really seems like, uh, it, but there is a little bit of mystery. I mean, they're talking in not tongues, but in scripture cryptic. or whatever. Yeah, they're very cryptic. Uh, so there's a lot of room for interpretation, you know? So, um, I don't know. It, 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 it's got me excited for it. Once again, WWE hits up something that, that's got us excited again. Um, so, you know, that's 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 pretty cool. So Cue Mad Mike in the chat room saying he's not excited for anything. <laughs> that's because Maybe. you're sick. What? You're sick, that's why. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's under the weather. Sorry, Mike. Get well soon, Mike. 
How's yeah, how's, well, how's Mike sick for the 300th episode? That's a shame. Too much drinking. Yeah, Apparently he was celebrating pussy. last night. He was celebrating by himself. High five. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, do we have Russell oh. Band muted? Yeah, we might have accidentally. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was wondering. I'm like, I've, I've been making points, and I'm Fuck like, I yeah. don't know. <laughs> so what are all the points that Russell Fan's been making in the last 10 minutes? That I forgot all of them. <laughs> the Good. remember box. <laughs> My remember box told me. Yeah. 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 So uh what else is going on here, guys? Touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody remembers what's going on this week. I don't know. It, it much- oh, the the Monta the uh the Lifetime Achievement Award. Lifetime Achievement Award, best use of the touch. Uh <laughs> yeah, Bobby Bobby uh reminds us at least he didn't multiply and get booted like he does in the hangout chat room for some reason. Um, yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. But no, uh, yeah, this was like the greatest use of the touch I've seen since the Transformers movie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Speaking was, of the hangout, the minute that CM Punk came out with the uh, with the mannequin, I love how everyone in the chat thought it was Billy Gunn. Because <laughs> 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 we just saw Road Dog, and for some reason, like, oh my god, they're bringing out uh, he's bringing out gun? mannequin and Billy Gunn, and then we see it's a dynamic dudes T-shirt on him. Like, oh my god, it's John Laurinaitis. <laughs> That's great. That's great. One of Am the- I the only one who wants that t shirt? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that, no. Dynamic no. t shirt. That t shirt's right? going to start flying off the shelves now thanks <laughs> to this whole angle because it's going to be. Nice to see him bunk. Yeah, yeah. This 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 was this is the best stuff. This is what made this is the kind of stuff that made like the Slammies back in the day, and we're going to remember this probably as well as we remember Todd Pett and Gale doing a number. And you know that John Laryngitis was in the back sitting there going, I want to laugh so loud, but I don't want anybody hearing me laughing at this. Yeah, exactly. Mm. He can laugh as loud as he wants. They won't hear him anyway, because him laughing sounds like... (laughs) Can I say, speaking of laughing, Tony Atlas returns. Uh, Yes! Uh. (laughs) And he wore sleeves, which made me sad. LB, LB, tell us about the greatness of Tony Atlas returning. I came. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, there's not much more to say than that Have Jim Ross guys, got me really this, hard and then I came when Tony Atlas showed up did anyone see the trailer for the Tony Atlas you shoot no yes, that came out like today did it come out today all I know is that Tony no, Atlas has like a all, there's, Tony Atlas has a foot fetish and there's one point where they watch two girls one cup and I'm buying that DVD. <laughs> <laughs> You're too young to buy that DVD. No, he's too young to watch uh, Two Girls, One Cup. He's not, uh, unless they, they show. I'm it. too young to watch Two Girls, One Cup. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. As in, I don't want to fucking watch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that's them watching Two Girls, One Cup. But listen, <laughs> listen to, to I don't, can you get sound? Listen to his reaction. Oh, wow, that's really happening. <laughs> Look at the face! Wow, the sounds he's making. I I I haven't, but uh... oh, what did you just show me? (laughs) 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 That was old man voices. That was like the old man way to react to that. You shoot, no shit. All right, wow. Oh man, do you <laughs> <laughs> They just keep showing it in slow motion. Like and I that's said, the whole preview. You. you know how many DVDs they're gonna sell just for the, the two girls one cup segment they just showed? It's it's gonna be tremendous. Ooh. Oh, there's another one. What's this one? Grab uh Tony Atlas preview, grab a dictionary, shall we? Yeah, my, oh no, <laughs> my, yeah, this uh, is yeah. really good. You should play this. Okay, okay. Break you out. may get a guy we call shooters back in the olden days. These was guys that had a, a, a hellacious uh, amateur Hellacia. background. And for years and years and years, wrestlers and many athletes have took advantage, have used their celebrityness to <laughs> things about having foot fetish. It, 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 <laughs> y'all call it S and M or dominatrix or, or what it is. These women, they were just infatuated <laughs> with wrestling. He still give his. Uh, uh, Espo team on the matches that are going on today. How was the Coke in the 80s? 
destructive. <laughs> it's destructive. It's dropping all of a sudden. Cause that what undercocked it. I used to get me on it, and I would get me a a, a, a omelet. I didn't throw away the yolk like they do today, cause I had a fat metabolism, so I, I burnt all that. <laughs> I don't have that, the same metabolism as a horse. Tazzle I don't have the same metabolism as a cow. You don't take a chance on shrinking your testicles. He changed <laughs> the, the format of that. Their life expectancy is much shorter than human. Wow. Wait, what? Is it much shorter than humans? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. buying this, this immediately. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to high spots wherever or right now, and I don't care whose dick I have to suck. I am <laughs> fucking laying hands on that sure video. You, I'm pretty sure you can buy it with real money. You don't need to do that. But if that's your preference of paying, God damn it, sir. Don't I... shit on my shit parade. <laughs> you my top of this, man. Two girls, one LB. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, please don't the let more, it be that same more, two girls from the video. <laughs> The more this Sony Just is, don't kiss them on the mouth. Don't kiss them on the mouth. Don't kiss them uh, on the mouth. Wow. Uh, what else sleeves. is going on? Um, Hi, metabolism. And I just want, since it is the holidays, we do have a special message that uh, Bobby FJ Town wants you to know that he wants to be known that he does like Asian ladies because Christmas is, co- Christmas is coming up. Uh, moving on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's a. Uh, I know I have some other stuff here. So, um, was there anything else from Slamming the What? CM Punk won the thing, didn't he? Yeah, yeah he won the Slamming Award, and freaking John Lord and I just took it. Yeah, yeah, yay. Um, well, there you go. Yeah. Uh, in other news, Shawn Michaels is releasing Diary of a Heartbreak Kid for pre order on Amazon and iTunes. It is 70 pages, $5.99, and released digitally. Ebook. Ebook. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, I don't know. You guys gonna you guys gonna be uh, picking this up? It's a moment to moment moment narrative diary captures the raw emotions and unfiltered candor of the heartbreak kid as he's reunited with family, friends, and a veritable who's who of the Squares Circle lore. Um, what? Like recently? <laughs> I think I think there's a solid chance I'll be picking that up. I mean, for six bucks, it's like sure, maybe it's, it's a quick read. Why not? You know, it could be good, right? Yeah, so. maybe, maybe. So you never know. Uh, I'll get a few reviews first, then maybe I'll get it. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. Well, they got a link here. Maybe is it is is it out yet? When did they say it was coming out? Uh, um, December twenty seventh. Uh, so it's over here. If you want to pre order it, here it is on uh, Amazon, and you can you can get it for six bucks and toss it on your uh, on your Kindle when it comes out. Day of. So, um, I don't know. That's, that's interesting. Well, it's WWE, I guess. Interesting. So, hmm. he's not doing this independently, I guess. Uh, yeah, it says uh, from his debut to his... <laughs> so, his, it's going to span his entire 1984 to 2010 uh, uh, career in 70 pages. Oh, that's wow. going to be concise. <laughs> wow. It's no Steve Jobs book. Um, and you're welcome, Bobby. <laughs> and also, I want to I want to uh, notice that we are uh, we are being competed with yet again. Thank you, WWE. Obviously, we're a threat. They put their tribute to the troops on the USA this week, and we do have some updates. Um, and uh, wrestle fans recently been on there, and also um, the Bellas are at West Point. There's probably the there there that's probably the sluttiest outfits ever worn in the history of West Point. Bobby FJ. Oh, <laughs> I don't know about that. So, <laughs> what do you yeah. be surprised? What do you yeah, if, if, if it's anything like the ones they wore last night, oh, um, like I saw labia, like that's wrong. <laughs> right. Mm. <laughs> <Good response laughs> He's like, like mm, labia, mm, labia. Um, yeah. it's also, all about the cookie. Yeah, it's cookie. Lillian Garcia came back. This past week, yay! yay. I like and she also released a video uh, with uh, Candice Michelle and Tori Wilson of all people uh, for her Michelle. music video. Look at three uh, girls in a cup. Whoa! Aww. Whoa. What? <laughs> so uh, you can check that out on YouTube. Um, I don't know. I haven't heard it. Whoa! 
So there you go. Get your LillianGarcia.com. And now we're going to get uh, arrested. What? Because <laughs> you just played music on the air. I don't know. Uh, maybe. Maybe. No, it looks like it's... I don't know. Um, <laughs> so anything else coming up, guys, you want to mention here? TNA had a pay-per-view. Oh, hey, TNA had a pay-per-view. <laughs> That's right. Did anybody watch it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did anybody watch it? Anybody? Mm. I was I an indie it. show. What's your excuse? Riz, Riz, you watched it, didn't you? Uh, the crying. Did. Oh, oh Riz, no. It's okay, Riz. It's okay. We told you you didn't have to watch it. Riz, <laughs> show okay. us on the doll where the pay-per-view touched you. You really, you really had nothing better to do on Sunday night, did you? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Right. No, not it there on the Hogan. It is bathing suit area. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> all right, so you watch the pay per view. Let let us know what, um, what did TNA do this month. Um, well, I'm gonna do what we did last time: the the good, the bad, and the yeah. rest. Okay. Uh, one thing I'd change, all but right. um, I'll start with the good. Uh, for what it was worth, RVD and uh, that's um, no, never mind. It sucked. Uh, <laughs> what? Let's see. What else? There was... The, the, the X Division match was good. It was against two heels. Um, Kid Cash and Austin Aries. And they had a really good and enter- entertaining match. Mm-hmm. Um, with Aries picking up the victory. And... It was like heel versus heel. So you had all these funny moments. Where, you know, like, they both go for the same heel move, like, low blows. and I think it ended when, yeah, it, I forget how it ended now. But <laughs> and the crowd all took the guns to yeah, the and shot their But shoes. it was a really good, that was a really good match. The bad, they had Everything a cage else. match where I thought, well, I, where I believed that it would have been a better pay-per-view if the cage would have crushed both competitors <laughs> and the manager. Oh, wow. that's true, though. Yeah. And one thing and, I would and the change, special enforcer on the outside. And one thing I'd change... Hmm, what would I change about that pay-per-view? The location. It's not, it's not change, it would be improve. Improve. The location. I'd say that the lo- impact zone is the worst crowd in the history of wor- in the history of crowds. This is the, yeah. this is probably the first time in a while that I read reviews of a pay per view like this, but after not watching it. Um, but the big thing was they they said like like the cage match actually got some high marks for what they did there. Uh, of course, uh, AJ Styles and and Bobby Roode did uh, I think a thirty minute Iron Man match that was supposed to be really good. Uh, but just they said the the crowd really just kind of sat on their hands all night and didn't yeah. get into the stuff they were supposed to, you know. Yeah. I mean yeah. stuff well, that really well, was again, pretty good. Then, what Impact else is new? Crowd who goes in there for free and decides to act like an idiot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, it's just they're suffering from from the situation. Now, there's a lot of stuff. I, I think I think a lot of them are talking about they want to do more. They're obviously doing more live shows. Hopefully this leads to more pay-per-view mixing it up. But it really just maybe the end out the year or whatever. They really just didn't bother since Bound. It's like they put everything in Bound for Glory. And now it's the same old, same old, you know, um, where I mean, how many how many uh, 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 pay-per-views were outside of the impact zone this year? There's at least a few lockdown One, scenes of uh, the other. Two. Uh, two. So at least only and, two? Yeah. Uh, I guess and so. here's my problem with that. They had a whole month of shows that they taped in Georgia. Yeah. And yeah. then they decided to go back to the impact zone and do the pay per view there. So then you get to this point. You get to this point with TNA where, and, and, and I think, you know, you guys agree, right? Uh, the shows where they are on the road. Always feel bigger and better. Yeah, I remember yeah. there was a. They, I think it was like 2008 or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like, like 90 percent of their pay per views were on the road. Yeah, yeah, they had a big run on it, right? 
and it was good. And and yes, you're not going to fill up the whole freaking arena, but I mean, you can still go get to some of these arenas like from the way I, from the way it looks, and you can still get a good, a decent crowd. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't see why they don't do that. Fans. I don't, I don't get it. We're What's gonna that? get dedicated fans, and dedicated fans, like in a low number, trumps non-dedicated fans going to a free show at Universal Studios in Florida. Uh, I, exactly. I think I think this is something we've seen even locally. Like I know, uh, you know, Riz, I know you're some, and, and even you, Wheels, uh, uh, you know, locally here with IWC, they used to run almost every month down there at the court time, right? Yeah. And and you remember, you know, when we started. That was always a hot crowd, a big crowd, yeah. and it's waned over the years. But I, mean, it- I, I heard that. I mean, because me working for RWA, of course, I'm not, I haven't been to IWC, but I've had people tell me that it's like there's people that like just sit on their hands anymore, and it's like they're not into it as much. Yeah, well, it, I, I don't know about that, but it's it's. Um, I think the people that are there are dedicated to it, but the problem was that there were so many people. You know, that like I have wrestling right up the road in Elizabeth every month and the core time crowd just seemed very complacent with what they saw every month. Right. And and, and yeah, and, and that's why I like seeing that there is less going on there. They're reaching out to new places. You go up, go up to a clear field show. It's like what you're seeing in TNA. You go up to a clear food show and they're they're into it like you're not seeing at, at the at the home venue anymore. You know, what I mean. Um, it's a smart move. I mean, there you TNA, go to a place long enough. There are going to be people that are going to get people, jaded and people, they're going to get exactly, you know, annoyed. Exactly, and that's just the nature of the business. Yeah, and, and and how long have they been running in Orlando? Orlando, you know, the people in Orlando just you know don't know what it's like to not see wrestling every you know two times a month like that. At that point, you know, yeah. it's always here and it's free. You know, it's not like even a situation like an IWC or an RWA or a PWX here locally that run at, you know, once a month in the same venue, let's say, or sometimes twice a month in the same venue. Uh, you know, I mean, that it's it, it drop fifteen dollars, twenty dollars or twelve dollars or whatever, you know, put, uh, put, dropping money for this. Even if TNA charged those prices, I think they would get a decidedly different crowd. Maybe they're worried to charge those prices because they don't think they're going to fill that little soundstage. Yeah, um, I think at least for indie groups, I think once a month, it, it, you can make it work for you. Like you said, they, 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 there's two times in the uh, in Orlando for the Impact Zone, and it's I mean, but that's still like four tapings. It's four mm-hmm. shows, so I mean, still, I, I know it. I'll give you an example. Like around here, when uh, ACW does their shows, sometimes they have their shows like they have two shows a month. Like I think like two two months out of the year, um, but they have it at two different places. There's one in San Antonio, one in Austin. Mm-hmm. So it, you know, it kind of, even though they're pretty close together, still it still you know lightens the whole thing. And, and there's um, some stuff being thrown. Out. Uh, Mad Mike's in the chat room saying he can't. It takes more money to do live shows, though. And concerning TNA, well, of course there's yeah, a problem with TNA. I, I was going to get to that one. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit. But yeah, I think that's a separate topic a little bit. Um, yes, not, not really. Well, 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 we're, we're, we're talking venue, I think. But um. Oh, uh, but, oh. but 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 you know, as far as the live the live thing, uh, why is it that they were willing to on Monday night do at least a live show every two weeks, uh, and they're not willing to do it on Thursdays? You know, um, you know, if if they're they keep going back to Florida, I mean, and not charging for tickets, they have to be making money down there. So they're making money off of merch. Um, no, 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 no. I'm well, sure they're making money off of TV. TV too, yeah, but I'm sure they have some kind of deal cut with Universal Studios where they get some part of entrance or part of the gate or part of the park or something. I, so I that's probably why they keep going back down there. I can almost guarantee you they're 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 paying to be there because it's a soundstage and they're not the only thing that uses it. Uh, mm. Granted, it's some other uh, offshoot projects of theirs, like the uh, what is that the World of Wheels uh, show that they were doing. Yeah. Uh, so these other projects like that. And it's not like TNA is a one dimensional company as far as their product. I mean, we may think so as we watch their program or whatever you think of that. Uh, but, you know, they are reaching out. They're doing this India project where you hear a lot of lot of, you know, decent names are becoming involved with that, which is basically it looks like it's, it's producing uh, a homegrown show in India uh, of wrestling. Uh, in which, India? In, 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 in India. 
Um, so, hmm. I, and that's interesting that, that that's a whole other thing. I, I, obviously, they're probably already delivering TNA shows there. Now they're getting something that's more local based, you know, and maybe that's what you're going to see uh, from a lot of these. So, I mean, it, it, TNA is doing something. At least, um, whether we like it as wrestling fans or not here in the states, you know that's another thing. Uh, now go to that. Riz, there was a little bit of a flub on the pay per view. What what happened? Um, well, during the, the during the preview of the Divas match, there was knockouts a point, match, but whatever. The, the Divas bitches. tag or the match knockouts for whatever. The, <laughs> the horrors. Um, they, they had the video package, and. It, I don't know if it was on my feed or whatever, but because I watched it, you know, I watched it, but uh, they had a point where it just froze and just stood at one point of the of the whole video. And then no one was talking, no, nothing was going on. I thought my stream died, but then it came back to them, to the uh, Mike Tenay and Taz talking over the the pro the uh, the whole thing over it was, it started over the video package started over and they thought they were going to the tail of the tape and when that didn't happen they they tried to narrate what what you just saw 50 seconds ago <laughs> and it was like and after a while it just they just stopped and let it roll it was like it's pretty I mean, much that's, that's, it. that's that's pretty sad. That, yeah, and, and this is the first time we've seen w, or, uh, TNA have some live problems, but they don't do it. They don't do it as often, and probably don't have a se- season to people to do uh, uh, live TV like WWE does. Hey guys, live TV is hard. Live to tape is hard. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Um, so you know, you, you know, there's that. Uh, but I'm not going to say that they're a real amateur company for that stuff happening. They're just not. A as long running of a company, as seasoned a company as WWE. WWE's been doing this for how many years? So, right. I mean, that's another instance of something that that they're not going to get right. You know, they're not. You know, they're not UFC. They don't have the money in them like a UFC that's getting millions of buys. You know, that's going to get a crack top of the tier. You know, video team like that. You know, um, and, and it's going to happen. So. So I, I think we've done enough of TNA. We, we, yeah, we've given TNA. a lot of we, stuff. We spent more through. enough time on TNA. Yes, today. we have. Yes, we have. Oh, I'm man. sorry I had to do that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so now to celebrate the anniversary show, not the anniversary show, but the 300th episode, you need to tell me 300 things that are right about TNA. Riz, go. Oh. Boobs, boobs. Boobs, 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 boobs. All right, keep going. Boobs. We'll just meet you and uh... <laughs> boobs, boobs, boobs. It's just being in trash boobs. cans. Boobs. <laughs> no, 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 no. They were jerking off in the trash can. Jerking. Oh, that's better. Awesome call. Yeah. Boobs, I, I, boobs. ICP was there for a little bit. Boobs. That was that was fun. Um, boobs. boobs. Anyways, um, six sides. Boobs. Yeah. <laughs> One boobs. angle. Boobs. Boobs. Thank God there's only one angle, right? Um, so anything else going on? Anything from uh, Raw or SmackDown? We got TLC this weekend. Actually, we should touch base on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm kind of excited for it. They've been having a good run of pay-per-views in WWE. Uh, I don't think we've been mad at one for a few months, right? And no Cena. And no Cena. That's, that's going to be interesting. That's, 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 when was the last time Cena wasn't advertised for a show? Advertised? He's not even on the card. I, I mean, yeah, I mean, exactly. What was, yeah. What I would mean? say it's been a number of years. Yeah. Yeah, well, he, when's the last time he got injured is the thing. That, that That's probably, that, yeah. That's probably going to be your answer right there. Um, and, and it is interesting that we do have a, an image on here of uh, Cena pushed to the edge of Cena and, Cena and Edge in a tap. Tables, letters, and chairs match in Unforgiven 2006. It was a great match. Uh, it was a great match, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. So we got, of course, Intercontinental Champion Cody Rhodes against Booker T. I wish it was for the belt. It is it for is. the belt. Is it for the belt? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. 
So which yeah. which confused me because remember when Cody had that match with Orton? Yeah. But for some reason, it wasn't for the belt. Yeah. That was just a feud for a feud. Because they're like, like uh, we can't like give the belt to Orton. That's like. <laughs> That's like a demotion. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Randy Orton versus Wade Barrett. Speaking of, they got a few going on over there on SmackDown. Mm-hmm. Tables uh, match. Feud. Is it tables match? Yep. yep. Excellent, excellent. Uh, looking forward to that. that. That could be a fun one. I like what they're doing with Wade Barrett lately. Uh, you know, finally he's not doing the faction thing, and that last one didn't really go well. Finally, he's holding his own. I mean, yeah, yes. Yeah. Triple threat match, of course. Uh, we saw a lot of a preview last night. Miz and uh, CM Punk and Del Rio. That's going to be a color match. You, yeah, there's no I, reason for that. You put you put those three match. men together. I mean, you're going to get great stuff. I think. Mm-hmm. <coughs> and uh, what else we got here? We got uh, uh, Mark Henry uh, and the Big Show, of course, as we see there on the front page. In a in a chairs match. Chairs match. Okay. Okay. Which makes sense. It's the only time a chairs match has made sense. Really? Because it, it well, because yeah, I mean they break they break their legs with the chairs. That's like the whole. That's how the feud started. Mm-hmm. You know, like. Okay. Okay. Uh, All right. And like the one then with we have uh, the Rey Mysterio. Where someone's leaving in a cripple cart. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, Rez, hey, hey. What was that, Riz? The chair match they had with Rey Mysterio and Alberto Del Rio that one time mm-hmm. didn't really what? set. Uh, no, yeah, it didn't do very good because no. because they, no, they didn't have that match. Remember they. They were going to have that match, but then they put him in the TLC match with Edge and Kane. Oh, oh yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Mm. Never mind. And then we have, of course, uh, yeah, like like you were saying, uh, Triple H versus Kevin Nash, Sledgehammer ladder match. <sighs> Not as match good as a banana night. ladder match. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Um, I, I'm going to have to agree with uh, Lunchbox. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be huge. Be you think it's going to be good? No. You're not fucking with me? I think it's going to be the Undertaker <laughs> poop break <laughs> match. Undertaker poop break? It's going to be the Diesel poop break match. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I think. Welcome to Bona- Kevin Bonus Nash points if you can shit a big D. <laughs> <laughs> or pull your hamstring trying to take a shot. Make sure to tweet us if you do. Uh, uh-huh. And of course, Dolph Ziggler, Zach No, Ryder. you don't tweet your poo. You don't tweet your poo? No. Oh, you bad. just text it to each other. Yeah, that's right. It's true. Um, you text uh, uh, character facsimiles of your poo. Yes. Now I have emoticons in my phone. What? Is, oh, if you poop a emoticon, and actually one of the emoticons. Poop, can I show one of the emoticons? Is let me see. Uh, if you make, poop an emoticon, you win. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Do you win that this little talent. competition? That is that is, that is greater than the clown Rorschach. That There's is actually that a, is greater than the Chinese version of War and Peace I crapped out the other day. <laughs> There's actually I don't know if you can see that. Uh, no, I don't think you're gonna. Be, well, no. you can kind of see the triangle there, but there's a little smiley face and it looks like a pile of poop. <laughs> Thank you, Steve Jobs. Um, yes. Wow. But yes, Dolph Ziggler and Zack Ryder. For yeah, the uh, United States Championship. Match. It's a it's a what? Great. That match is gonna steal the show. Yeah, it's and, the it's not Mad a Mike match. with a giant hard on match. <laughs> 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 what is uh, with everyone's getting hard ons on this week's show? Uh, this is me. I'm just I like to use the erect penis show. metaphor a lot. It's the cat uh, uh, swiping at the back of his neck. Kitty! <laughs> <laughs> Give it a toy and put it on YouTube. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, this needs yeah. to happen. 75 million times. hits. Guaranteed. <laughs> and make sure, make sure you put all at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. I, I will do it. <laughs> huh. oh, dear. So, uh, you know what, Sorg? Yeah, what's that? What did you learn in wrestling this week? What did I learn in wrestling this week? Yeah, let's start with you. Okay. <laughs> Since you always start with Chachi. What did I learn in wrestling this week? Can you come back to me? Wow. No. Really? Uh, what have you learned in 300 fun. episodes of the what wrestling I, Yeah, show? we should do that, too. Wrestling? Oh, uh, no, okay. What did I learn? I, I learned, I learned, um, <clears throat> I, know I, learned, I know I learned something from, what's that? I said dildos are dangerous. Uh, there was that, yes. Uh, the, the ultimate foreign object of wrestling is the rubber dildo. Yes. And also a uh, a big favorite amongst children. Yes. Wrestling. Yeah, I'm going with that. I'm going with that for this week. That, that's that's what I learned in wrestling. Wrestling. So what we're doing. I, it's definitely what I learned in wrestling this week, yes. And also, uh, oh, 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 and, and uh, continuing chest flexor is the fashion, pl- fashion plate of uh, IWC. He came out sporting a jacket and tights with his face on it. Yes. That was pretty cool. 
Uh, so Holy let's, shit, I missed everything. Yes, you did. You missed a good one. A wrestle fan, what'd you learn in wrestling? What'd you learn in wrestling this weekend? I mean, you've got to have this. something from that. Well, this weekend, actually, well, actually, this weekend I have a lot to learn, but what I learned this week was from Monday Night Raw. Mm-hmm. Um, and speaking, speaking of erections again, <laughs> someone, a you bunch of people on Twitter, like, on. a lot of people Cut must off. have a real hard on for Jinder Mahal. Hmm? Yes, we because did. he trends like every week and I don't know why, <laughs> I, <laughs> that was I weird. but yeah, he's a star. <laughs> wow. And Riz, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? Shit, you took mine. <laughs> oh wait a minute! Uh oh! <laughs> yeah, <I just, laughs> that's it. That's all you got to say. Audio, li- audio listeners, I'm pointing at his crotch, <laughs> at my wrestle buddy's crotch. Wow! Uh, Wheels, what did you learn? I'm sorry. That's what I think of TNA. <laughs> okay. Riz, or Wheels, what did you learn from wrestling? TNA it's so fast this week. Buddy's crotch. Well, what have I learned? I've learned PG is for TV, but not the indies anymore. Nope. And Kato obviously smells like poop, because that's all I kept hearing from this one guy. He smells like poop. He smells like poop. I just wanted to know something, Adam. Kato. Kato. What did you learn from wrestling this week? Um, That the Warner ladders that you purchase for ladder matches cost $84. And they don't last long. And you can't return them. Yes. It's a refund. You cannot return them for a <laughs> refund if you bend a ladder during a ladder match. Well, you snap them in half with facade's butt. That, that's what I learned behind the scenes in wrestling this week. Oh, there, I just realized there were a lot of ladder matches this weekend. Yes, there were. I also, in Tis three, the season. In 300 episodes of the Mayhem Show, I, I've learned that you can come from running to your computer room right after Raw is over to do a live broadcast to doing a semi-organized and I'm using that term loosely. (laughs) Semi-organized? You're Um, already saying semi-organized but you're using it loosely. Yes. That's that's how organized the show is. Um, Weekly video podcast. I want to wait before we go on with those I do want (laughs) to Yeah! It's rave. (laughs) (laughs) I I, I, want to hit the chat room for the last thing. Mad Mike learned that food poisoning really fucking sucks and also learned that you should never end a pay-per-view with a tie. (laughs) Okay, that's it. Okay, all right. Um... (laughs) <laughs> uh, Bobby, I'm surprised Bobby, Bobby learned that WWE's next scared, film so is I filled the quota <laughs> Bobby learned that WWE's next film is a Predator sequel starring Kane hunting John Cena also don't tweet your poop Zero 2 k learned that the prison did well for Lita she looked hot yes uh, respect my authority learned that wrestling manager is option that boobs are by far the best reason to watch TNA and that I shouldn't take my kids to the indies um, <laughs> I still haven't finished my 300 boobs oh those <laughs> What'd you learn from three hundred at uh, Mayhem's there, Riz? Boobs, 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 boobs. and boobs, boobs, vaginas, boobs, boobs. Lunchbox and don't step on Chachi. Lunchbox. Oh, no, ah, yes, What'd you learn from wrestling? Uh, I learned this week no, from wrestling. No, kidding. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, wait. No, that's from. I learned that from the kitty. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I learned that if uh, they name an award after your gimmick, you are likely to win it. <laughs> Sweet. Yep. So uh, this uh, year, nominate Chachi for the Don't Step on Me award mm. in uh, this year's Mayhemies. And the winner will Which be back on. Russell Fan. <laughs> and, and LB, what did you learn from your 295 episodes of the Wrestling Mayhem Show? What what I learned from 300 years of the Wrestling Mayhem <laughs> Show. Uh, <laughs> I learned that uh, dicks are almost uniformly funny. Boobs. Um, 
Uh, in a more serious note, I have been thinking about this all day, uh, looking forward to this show, and uh, uh, that is something that is common for me on Tuesday nights. I look forward to doing the Wrestling Mayhem show, and I've done it for it's 300 episodes. It's been a very, very long time. And far and away, uh, outside of my family members, the Wrestling Mayhem show has been the most steady and stable thing in my life for 300 episodes 300 Tuesdays give or take uh, <laughs> sitting down for at least two hours and talking about wrestling and I think that That's, is a just a phenomenal that, thing that is the thing I think you have been here for the most episodes of anybody <laughs> out of, out of besides the Sorg Except, hey, I've besides missed a for Sorg I've missed a couple technically yeah, you have <laughs> So, um, but yeah, uh, that, that's, that's, you can put that on your resume. I do. I and? actually, Sorg, I do put that on my resume. <laughs> uh, it does. Yeah, I'm at the wrestling mayhem show and, uh, any social media podcasts that I've uh, done with you are in fact on my resume. So, uh, you are also on the uh, LinkedIn page for the wrestling may or Sorgatron media, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I have that on, so. I have it on mine too. No, I mean you're on the Sorgatron Media LinkedIn page <laughs> as, as a co-host. Oh, um, oh, well, good, excellent. Yes, <laughs> yes, many episodes, legitimate. I, I have, I have straight up. I tell employers uh, when they bring me on Tuesday nights, I have a second job, and it's uh, the Wrestling Mayhem show, so I can't work overtime. So fantastic how's that that's going? fucking awesome i should try that i, I don't work the same thing <laughs> you do i mm-hmm. leave work every tuesday mm-hmm. at uh 4 15 to 4 20 so i can catch the early bus to get home and take care of the stuff that i need to take care of before i come here and when asked if i can stay later than that or work late that night or even the fantasy football draft that i missed this year I, I tell them no, I, I can't. I have to go to work. That's awesome. So, I mean, that it, is awesome. Listen, regardless of how we act <laughs> during the <this> show, <laughs> each one of us takes this as serious as our careers. Yes. That's true. So, I, I've been I've I've essentially been at this job longer than I've been at any other. <laughs> yeah, you're hilarious. Yes, this job isn't going to lay me off. Well, you better not fucking lay me off anytime <laughs> soon. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, you got your quota. You got a black cripple, so it works. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you look at Mad Mike, every, anyone wow. is replaceable. Oh, uh, man, Mike not says... Me. Mad Mike says he's told uh, bitches they can't have some of Mad Mike on Tuesdays because he, he needs to please the entire internet. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. No. There you go. What was what this? How many Tuesdays do you have in your life? All of them. What? From uh, what? respect my authority. I don't, I don't understand asks. the question. How many? Tu- I don't know. Um, I say every Tuesday. I have, a lot, I, I, have least, I have 52 Tuesdays a year. I don't know how many you at have. At least I don't treat Bobby like a like a dog and leave him in the car. Uh, <laughs> That's true. Do, do, so uh, high, high, five high, high five to three hundred. High five three hundred. Damn, my else have I, and I learned uh, from anything. I've high five for another three hundred. I don't know who uh, who who all I've gone to. It, that's everyone. That's everyone. Yeah. Everybody yeah. chimed in. Okay. Lunchbox was the last one. Wait, wrestle fan? Did you? Yeah, I did. Right after Sorg. Excellent. Everybody, put it on your resumes. You you guys. High five. And maybe some of you in the resumes. chat room too. You guys are gonna high get five. a lot. High, high five. Five. High five. High five. High five. High five guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. All right, guys. <laughs> this is oh, and I, just to prove, it's, it's yes. Like, it's like Zorg's playing whack a ball. <laughs> <laughs> there's the LinkedIn page, and there's uh, there's DJ Lunchbox uh, under the the fake name of William Rutherford as a co-host yeah. of a wrestling fake name. name. Oh, oh shit! That's right. I had a really good line that I thought up today. And I you didn't get to up? use it on my thing. I was going to say a long time ago, before Sorg was known as Sorg, his name was Mike. And before I was DJ Lunchbox, my name was Will. And the man show changed all that. Mm, no. I was always not the Sorg part. Well, not the Sorg part. No. That's, that's your legit Sorgatron. name. 
Sawtron. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you guys. Wrestling Mayhem Show 300. Uh, and we'll be here hopefully for another 300 more. I have no reason to quit. WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Twitter us at Mayhem Show. Oh, I get it. You can email us at Good Times at Wrestling Good Mayhem Show. 9670. All that other stuff. I'm Sorg. Uh, check out SorgatronMedia.com for everything else going on for this show. Like I said, check out Twitter. Follow us on Twitter. Facebook, Google Plus. Plus, plus one us on the on the Google Plus. Google Plata. Like us on Google Facebook. Plus. And we'll see you guys next time from the Bye Mayhem. Yeah. Mayhem out! Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait.